G'day, this is Simon and James at South OC Cars and Coffee. A great day today, really good turnout, and yet everybody seems to be behaved and uh, and quiet, which is great. Some cool cars as well. What have you seen, James? Uh, we have Paul Walker's R34, which is just something I never thought I'd get to see. Uh, Craig Lieberman bought it out this morning, and it's just, it's kind of surreal seeing it in person. Yeah, that's still really great to see. A lot of other interesting stuff. We got over our shoulder a 918 Porsche that's here today. Great to see a hypercar. Um, what else? Andy's Mustang, full-blown race Mustang, um, and a Corvette Club as well. Yeah, for, uh, what is it, 40 Corvettes? Yeah, something like that, absolutely huge turnout. If you have a club and you want to bring it to South OC Cars and Coffee, please do what these guys did. Reach out to us uh, via email on the website. We need a list of the cars that are attending, the license plates, colour, and uh, then we'll bring you in early so that we can ensure that we can park you all together and get a great park. So, um, some cool stuff, huh? Yeah. Let's go for a walk and check it out. Great seeing this car here, Porsche 918 Spider. Of course, the hypercar from Porsche, uh, a hybrid, but you know, not your average Prius, obviously. Hey, notice how shiny this car is? That's because it's been uh, paint corrected and ceramic coated and also clear brad at the guys at Next Level Detailing, who are of course one of our sponsors. So the owner is absolutely thrilled with the, the job that they've done. I referred him after he'd seen uh, the condition of my Camaro and I said, hey, this is 11 year old paint, check it out. He came up to me again today and said, can't believe how good this thing looks and he's really pleased with him. So great to see it here. Really appreciate him bringing it out. These are such a special car, aren't they? Interesting though that uh, this car had its, its amazing lap to, to, uh, time at Nürburgring and then along comes the previous model GT2 uh, RS and actually knocked the time down, which is amazing, isn't it? Just shows you how far automotive technology advances in just a few years. So this was the R34 James was talking about earlier that belonged to Paul Walker. We're probably going to come back and make that car of the week. Next to it we have Andy's race car. Um, Andy's about to pack up and go to Texas because I think it allows him to do more to his car. I've seen this thing from when he used to bring it to our very original cars of coffee back in 2015 at Target through to now where it's actually running a Coyote and it, it's uh, a little over 500 horsepower of the wheels but truly set up as a true track car. Actually trailered in this morning. So. Really great to see these sort of cars at the show. If you want to bring a car like this, please just let us know in advance if you need to trailer it in, if it's very noisy like this thing was. Uh, but uh, great to see them here.
super clean looking Pantera here. Check this thing out. Beautifully ceramic coated uh, headers out through some baller mufflers. Really nice color. Great looking cars, aren't they? Really, really pretty cars. This car here belongs to one of my work colleagues, John Burgess. Uh, believe it or not, he actually took it on the uh, the power cruise the, uh, that uh, Hot Rod do. So it actually runs really well. It's got a good engine in it, despite what it looks like. And the thing that's the coolest about this is that it has true blue aero on the roof of it. I mean, I haven't seen aero this good on a car probably since the center. If you look at this, that's clearly doing some serious work. I'd, I'd predict that's probably giving, a, I don't know, probably a ton of downforce there, maybe more. So John Burgess is a very cool car. Not even moving. I, I know, exactly. It's, it's actually got so much, that's a really good, you make a good point. It has so much downforce that it's bending with the car not even moving. Man, I've never seen anything like that before. So isn't that cool? He does not take himself seriously. He had a lot of fun, the kids draw on the front of this thing. Uh, but as I said, it's actually, uh, it's actually an extremely reliable car, which is super cool. Like, look at that, for example. Good wheels on it and everything, just happen to be dirty.
So that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below. Big thank you to all our sponsors, to Meguiar's, to Polestar, to Share, Next Level Detailing and Next Level Mobile Detailing, Team Road to Safety, Classic Industries and Pacific Air Cool. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. To all of our volunteers, thank you so much. We could not be doing this without you guys. If you want to volunteer, just go and see uh, Sarah at the merchandise table or send us a message online via Facebook, Instagram or our website. Big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. And of course, the Rockwells and Rubies for bringing up the, the uh, donuts and the coffee. Make sure to support the businesses at the outlets as a thank you for allowing us to be here. I want to go off and give the car of the week to Paul Walker's old R34. So make sure to check out that video. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.